I'm Nate from Cooler Master and this is the Scout 2 Advanced Ghost White and this is the Sidon 120XL. In this video we're going to show you how to install the Sidon into the Scout. For this installation we're going to use the, the Sidon pump with the radiator attached, the two fans, this is the included thermal compound, the Y splitter for your fans, PWN control, these are the screws to install the fans onto the radiator, here's the hardware brackets that you install with these little tiny screws onto the pump, and this is the AMD back plate. So let's install the first fan and then we'll install the second when we actually mount it to the chassis. So take, take four of these screws, figure out the configuration you want your fan in. In this build we're going to use the exhaust configuration. Each of these fans has a sound dampener on it, which is that little rubber piece that you'll find on one side of it. Once you have the fan installed on the radiator, take your bracket, line up the holes on the pump, and screw it in from the bottom. You're going to want to do this for both sides. So I've already installed the CPU. Take some of the included thermal pump compound, just do a couple of dabs. I like to do kind of an X formation like that. It'll spread out nice and even once you put the heat sink on. So take the take the back plate and line it up, pop through the holes. I like to put it on something flat so you don't have to worry about any kind of back pressure. And then you line up the screws. And they're, they're spring loaded, so you have to kind of push down a little bit. And that'll get the thread going. And you can just start screwing them in one by one. Okay, so now I'm going to install the board into the Scout 2, and we'll pick up when I'm installing the radiator into the back of the Scout. To make the install easier, I've laid the case on its side and I've already removed the included exhaust fan because we're going to use the one that comes with the siding. So what I like to do is line up the first fan with at least two screws uh, so it's easier to install the radiator. And you want to have it so that when your casing is, is in its final orientation, uh, the tubes are at the bottom. Once you have the radiator installed, uh, plug the pump into the CPU fan header, attach the fans to the PWM splitter here that's included with your siding, and uh, plug that into your system fan header. You're good to go. When you turn your system on, you'll see the blue indicator light turns on on siding and the fans are running and as you can tell it's very quiet. I'm Nate from Cooler Master, thanks for tuning in. Follow us on Facebook and watch more of our videos and we will keep making more installation videos.